Hello, here is a quick climate briefing from the National Weather Service office in Grand Forks, North Dakota. To start off, here are the monthly temperature departures from normal for the year 2017 using the Fargo, North Dakota climate station. If you remember, January, February, March, and April were fairly warm months. Meanwhile, the month of August was about two and a half degrees cooler than normal. The next slide shows what the highest temperatures were for the months of June, July, and August 2017. Fargo and Park Rapids recorded 96 degrees. The National Weather Service in Grand Forks hit 93, Devil's Lake was 92, and Bedette topped out at 89 degrees. So how many days through the months of June, July, and August 2017 were equal or above 90? Fargo had the most at 10, while Bedette failed to reach 90 degrees for the entire summer season. Switching over to precipitation and sticking with Fargo climate site, the months of March, May, June, July, and August 2017 were all dry. The brown lines and numbers on this graph show just how much the precipitation was below normal for each month. May, June, and July were all about an inch and a half below normal for precipitation. Adding all the precipitation departures from normal from January through the end of August 2017 gives the following information. Fargo was about five and a half inches below normal, while the National Weather Service Station here at Grand Forks was about three and a half inches below normal. This lack of summer rainfall has led to drought conditions over portions of eastern North Dakota and northwest Minnesota. At this point, Neither of these areas are in severe drought, but they are abnormally dry. The lack of rainfall has also kept all the rivers in the region below bankful. This is a hydrograph for the Red River at Fargo, where it is currently several feet below action stage. The relatively dry summer has also led to a lower number of severe weather warnings from the National Weather Service office here in Grand Forks. About 130 severe thunderstorm warnings were issued to date. During busy years, this number can easily be twice as much. Looking ahead into the month of September, here are a couple of interesting facts. September is considered to be a fall month, although the autumnal equinox will not occur until September 22nd this year. There are some big changes that occur to our daily normal temperatures during the month of September. Normal highs in the 70s on September 1st drop to about 60 degrees by the 30th. Overall, we lose about 10 degrees in both normal highs and normal lows. How much precipitation is normal for September? Well, first of all, during the fall months, normal precipitation begins to decrease from the higher amounts that are common over the summer. However, over 3 inches is still normal for the Bemidji area in September. A little less precipitation is normal at Fargo and Devil's Lake. Day length also begins to noticeably shorten. Generally for this area, we lose about an hour and a half of day length during the month of September. Taking a look ahead now, the Climate Prediction Center is forecasting temperatures in September to be near or slightly above normal for the Northern Plains region. On the precipitation side, precipitation is expected to remain below normal. Looking out a little further for the months of September, October, and November, the Climate Prediction Center is forecasting the above normal temperature regime to continue. As far as precipitation, equal chances are forecast for either above or below normal, so no conclusive signal is seen. Thanks for listening. This will conclude our climate briefing.